Hello everyone, welcome to a video and uh, it's part two of my issue with the Scout, which I am now getting to the point of pretty much there. And if you remember from my first video, of which you can see a link uh, appearing at the top now, the problem was that uh, this battery here was being plugged in, turned on, the Scout was doing absolutely nothing whatsoever, which in, would indicate there was an issue with the battery or with the connections inside. So, I'm pleased to say I believe it's sorted out and we can just confirm that by turning on the switch and hopefully waiting for the beeps. Right, there you have it. So, um, it's been sorted. And what the problem was, was the battery. Um, I will show you some pictures in a minute, but uh, there was, or were believed to be, a connection problem with the um, sort of the balancing cables between the two boards uh, within the battery. So it's not the battery, it's not the switch, it's not the other switch, it's nothing to do with any of these LED lights or anything like that. It's got nothing to do with the Scout. It's the two boards that is inside the battery. And uh, I'll show you uh, with these pictures. So from these pictures, you can see that these are the two boards that are inside the battery compartment and they are separated by this seven pin almost like balancing cable with all these different colors and i found that the problem actually was relating to this uh, the cable um, it was somehow not making contact with the board uh, whether or not it's because of the accident or whether it's the accident that um, you can see from my other video or the fact that it was just not properly put together and it was just slowly falling apart but either way uh, it just required a, a, a another push uh, a a hard push uh, for the um, cable to go back into its uh, designated place, and the I did some I did a reading, and uh, the power was back in from uh, the outgoing pins. So that's what the problem is. It's got nothing to do with the battery. It's the wires look to be a bit fragile, uh, and it's worth noting that should you. Uh, plan to um, take apart your battery if you've possibly got a battery problem so yeah it's um, possibly the uh, one of the, either the one of the seven pins uh, slightly loose or the actual uh, connector itself is it, it was not going in directly properly so we move on to the second problem that I've got at the moment um, and that is quite simply that having taken the plastic covers off uh, each side here um, with a Phillips two screws here with, with a Phillips uh, head screwdriver just pop off these dust covers um, we have a issue in that we have these um, clips which lock um, like the casing and stops the motor and the shaft here moving up at the top and what we have is this side here is missing uh, compared with this side so we're missing a C clip um, on uh, this side and because it's missing, what you'll see here is you can actually 
stiffed up the casing. So with that C-clip in place, that will hold it in there. But as you can see, that's right, that's lifting up and down. So I need to purchase another C-clip um, to lock that in place. And so until I receive that, uh, I'm not willing to risk uh, putting it in the air uh, just because, you know, you wouldn't fly in an aircraft if, you know, because at the end of the day, these things are in place for a reason. You don't just add pointless things. And so for me, a C clip needs to be clipped in there. That will stop the casing from moving uh, upwards. So there you have it. Uh, the battery's sorted. The power is now um, working with the Scout. And all I'm hopefully got to do is put the uh, sir clip back onto the motor and then we should be hopefully up and running again so part three and hopefully the final part uh, will be the fitting of the clip and hopefully into the air without any issues so thanks for watching and as per usual and as i say on all my videos i really appreciate uh, you subscribing to the channel uh, even more appreciate for you liking the videos that I do and uh, any comments please do let me know uh, in the comments box uh, please review all my other videos and once I've got it back in the air I can get to some flying and getting to do some uh, flying in more interesting places so thank you again for watching uh, and I'll catch up with you guys all again very soon take care see you later